In this lesson, we are going to look at probability laws, laws of addition and multiplication, mutually exclusive events, and independent events. Mutually exclusive events. When two or more events cannot occur at the same time. If a coin is tossed, it is not possible to land heads and tails at the same time. In general, if X and Y are mutually exclusive events, then probability of X or Y is equals to the probability of X plus the probability of Y. Let's look at an example. There are five red, three green, and two yellow counters in a bag. A counter is picked at random from the bag. Calculate the probability that the counter will be red or green. Now, every time you are looking at probability and you are given O, O means that you have to add. O means that you must add. So what we are going to do is to find the probability of picking a red counter plus the probability of picking a green counter. Now, probability is equals to favorable outcomes over all total possible outcomes. We'll start looking at the total possible outcomes. We have to add 5 plus 3 plus 2, which is giving us 10. Our total possible outcomes is 10. How many red counters do we have? 5. How many green counters do we have? 3. So the probability of picking red or green is equals to the probability of picking a red counter plus the probability of picking a green. When you look at red, there are five red counters. Therefore, our favorable outcome is five. So, probability of picking a red is five over ten plus. How many green counters do we have? Three. Total possible outcomes, ten. Now, since the denominator is the same, we are going to add the numerators. 5 plus 3 is giving us 8 over 10. And then we'll take this to its lowest terms, which is going to give us 4 over 5, as simple as that. We continue. Find the probability of picking a yellow or green counter. Find the probability of picking a yellow or green counter. So we are going to find the probability of picking a yellow counter plus the probability of picking a green counter. How many yellow counters did we have? Two. Total possible outcomes, 10. How many green counters did we have? Three. Total possible outcomes, 10. So what are we going to do? We are going to add the numerators. Two plus three will give us a five. And then probability of two over 10 plus three over 10 is giving us five over 10. We are not going to leave it like that. We'll take this to its lowest terms. We'll say 5 into 5, 1. 5 into 10, 2. Giving us half. We continue. Independent events. These are events that do not have an effect on each other. They do not affect each other. It is possible to roll a coin and a die at the same time. In general, if X and Y are independent events, then the probability of x and y is equals to the probability of x times probability of y. So every time you see and, it means that you are supposed to multiply. Let's look at an example. A box contains six blue pens, three green pens, and five red pens. A pen is picked and then replaced. A second pen is picked. What is the probability that the pens are? red and blue what is the probability that the pens picked are red and a blue pen so what we are going to do is to find the probability of picking a red pen and we are going to multiply by the probability of picking a blue pen now before we do that we are supposed to find the total possible outcomes how many pens were there in the box so we are going to add six plus three giving us uh, 9 plus 5 is 14. So our total possible outcomes is 14. How many red pens did we have? 5. That is our favorable outcome. So the probability of picking a red is 5 over 14. What is the probability of picking a blue? 
we have six blue pins and the total possible outcomes is 14. What are we going to do? We are going to say probability of red and blue is equals to probability of picking a red pen times the probability of picking a blue pen. Probability of picking a red pen is 5 over 14 times the probability of picking a blue pen is 6 over 14. So if we multiply 5 times 6, we are getting 30. 14 times 14 is giving us 196. If we take that to its lowest terms, we'll say 2 into 30, 15, 2 into 196 is giving us a 98. So our answer of picking the probability of red and blue is 15 over 98. As simple as that. We continue. Find the probability of picking green and blue. Find the probability of picking green and blue. So we are going to get the probability of picking a green times the probability of picking a blue pen. Let's do that. How many green pens did we have? Three. So this is our favorable outcome. Total possible outcomes, 14 times. How many blue pens did we have? Six. Total possible outcomes, 14. Multiply 3 times 6, you get 18. 14 times 14 is giving us 196. We we'll take this to its lowest terms. We are going to say 2 into 18, 2. 2 into 196, 98. So our answer is 9 over 98. As simple as that.